Matthew's 20 year anniversary in the department next week. How am I gonna fit that many candles onto a donut? You know, uh, great, great question. Um, I'll answer that once uh, you let me out of here. I, I didn't do nothing. For my name isn't Chase McCain, world's greatest criminal. That's right, adventurers. I have turned rogue. God, Zooks, how will we stop this mastermind? I am some pretty call the, the world's second greatest police, Ned Brick. <laughs> you touch someone to save you. Hey guys. Uh. Hi, Ned. You okay? How you feeling? Okay. Ned, you have yep. to stop chasing McCain before he destroys Lego City. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, please, I need you to focus. Oh my god. Which I mean, I think Ned Brick was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think that too. You know, you say that every time I show up. <laughs> you ask about my life and I tell you. I don't expect it to be as bad every time you say it. We, yeah, we're expecting you to be like, Oh, hey, I, I finally got a new job. Or, oh, hey, I went on a date today. Or, oh, hey, I wreaked bloody vengeance on Chase McCain for stealing my wife. Something like that. Not just more depression. Uh, but alas, alas. We must care for him, because... Begrudgingly, he's our friend. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> he's so. Why'd you build it just to break it again? And you destroyed the donuts. Why is he eating the donuts? I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Huh. Old brick. I'm in time locked. Eight donuts. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, uh, I guess the basement is my favorite. Yeah. Basement time, basement time. Basement Tim. Basement Tim, the best friend of Neb. <laughs> oh yeah, Ned, how's basement Tim? I'm imagining the basement Tim is like, hey, I just got a job offer from NASA. They want me to fly their new space shuttle. <laughs> like his life is just inexplicably perfect. <laughs> he takes all the good fortune from Ned Brick's life and just siphons it unintentionally. And like he doesn't realize he's doing it. He thinks Ned is doing all right. And just like a quiet guy. <laughs> oh no. The poor fool doesn't even know. Oh, I can't even get in there. Aha! What does this do? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh my god. I can purchase red bricks here. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh! Oh, nice. Is that a Wi Fi sound? What, what are you. Oh, oh no. Oh, is... oh there's sound. I was like, why are there so many, like, <laughs> symbols there? Oh my god. It does, okay, it doesn't let me buy it. Okay, oh, found it. Yeah. You just had to look a little bit. Oh, you need the electrician outfit. Hey, spoiler alert. For Lego City Undercover. <laughs> electrical box open that had a locked job. Of course, it's an electrician. Okay. To be fair, I also thought that the potted plants were grills, so I, I thought that could have been anything. Ah <laughs> exactly. uh, yes, my favorite job in Lego City Undercover: the barbecue. <laughs> it is a noble profession. Gym class at school. 
Just ignore me. I'm just your every everyday firefighter, uh, pranking the department. I mean, uh... <laughs> Set the apartment. I've, I've changed sides in the war. <laughs> Because I didn't go through the tutorial here. Oh yeah, I can play as Natalia Kowalski. Oh. Yeah, everyone's favorite yeah. character, Natalia Kowalski. I just. Huh. Everyone loves Natalia, right, Ned? On the verge of tears. <laughs> what was that? Right here, you know. Yeah, I know. Stop talking about Ned like he's not here. I can't help it. He's just. It's too I'm sad here. to acknowledge that you exist and you're not a figment of our imagination. I'm sorry for being born, you know? <laughs> and I forgive you for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> that feels so bad. No, that's the funniest. I think that's the funniest thing anyone has said on this channel. <laughs> I'm not forgiving someone for wishing they were <laughs> apologizing <laughs> that they were born. <laughs> uh... Some delicious vehicles. Vacles. The vacles. The iron back. This is the exciting first few minutes. Yeah, <laughs> we've just been thrashing not only the memory of Ned Brick, but also just destroying Ned the entire Brick. release station. I. He died inside, so you know that's. <laughs> That's enough. Well, you happened a while ago. You're just now mourning his memory. What are you talking? Uh, I'm still around. I'm aware that you're still around. I'm I'm mourning the fun you, the better you. Now. What do you mean <laughs> fun me? If I remember cool that rest this month, time, I'm you know, the line. time that you didn't just say the most saddest shit we'd ever heard. Back when you said stuff like, hey, I made money today, instead of, hey, guess what? I'm not just crippling it. I'm not just in crippling debt, but I'm in crippling debt to the mob. So if I don't make money soon, they're gonna take my legs. You know, I gotta get to before, before you said that. Hey, give me some credit. I have not dealt with the mob. Yeah. You should have kept up that streak. <laughs> Is that a cave woman? Was that a man in the lizard outfit? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a city. All times are real. That's fair. That man is dead. Here's the children's playground where no children exist. Keep your eyes on the road, Chase. Why is it right next to the police station? <laughs> Time that doesn't exist in Lego City is childhood. Uh, of course, of course. This playtime is all the time. No, that's why all of the adults are so, like, weird and childish. They, since childhood doesn't exist, they just start out as adults before they've learned anything. Ah, uh, I see, I see. <laughs> on the plus uh, side, the district saves a lot of not spending on schools. You know what that makes sense. In a weird way. <laughs> a lot of money, like the bare minimum amount of money, but you know, that's still money. Yeah. Money is money. What was it like, Ned? If only the public, if only the public schools could appreciate that, maybe they'd still exist. And yeah. instead, we had to outlaw childhood. <laughs> you come out the womb fully grown. You had to pay a mortgage. Okay, this is oh, the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Just a man playing on a, a grown man playing on a seesaw by himself. That's some real Ned Brick behavior. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm right here, you know. Uh, Come on. I know. I know. Yeah, he's right on the seesaw. Yeah, I need you to try harder. Don't break it. Holy shit. Uh. 
Careful. Careful. You know, I'm I'm leaving you guys. You keep bill bullying me. You never let me like, talk about my feelings anymore. <laughs> yeah, because your feelings are bad. Have good feelings. It's it's really not that hard. Yet. I I gotta go with Maddie on this one. Is it right, really so hard to go? Hey, guess what? I scored some free cocaine instead of, hey, I'm hooked on drugs again. You gotta have a positive mental attitude. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I really need you to step up. Because I can't. <laughs> I, I'm starting to get a little impatient with you. Yeah. Careful, that gate. Yeah, I know. Just try harder. Oh man, what a bummer, right? Yeah. God damn. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Ned's best friend. Chase Mc oh, no. <laughs> Basement Tim. Hi, I'm Basement Tim. <laughs> I love Basement Tim. Hey, Basement Tim! It's the life of the party. Hey, what's up, uh, what's up, broskies and, br uh, and bro girls? Hmm? Yeah, Basement Tim, we love I you! Love, we love you, Basement Tim. <laughs> yeah, I just got a raise at work and my job is an astronaut. That's oh, you awesome. deserve it so much. Oh, you're amazing. I know. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I just don't, don't feel bad for him. If he, if he was actually trying, he'd be more like Basement Tim. Yeah, that's true. If he applied himself, he'd be an astronaut. Just he like just pulled himself up by his bootstraps. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Well, unless you're like me, where I let, uh, I let him have a place to stay in one of my three apartments that I own. Yeah, see? He has, he's so generous, too. So selfless. Yeah. So humble. Yeah, that third one I didn't even buy. I just uh, uh, some woman I was dating gave it to me. I think her name was it's Natalie. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you mean Natalia? No. Oh. Yeah, that Isn't was that... Natalia's sister. <laughs> Isn't that Nedbrick's wife or ex-wife rather? Is them Natalie and Natalia? Whoa. Yeah, they were twins. Ah. That's meaner. <laughs> this car is very durable. Sorry. I okay. I I shouldn't have opened it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, 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 you drove it full speed into a fence against the, a river, and the only thing that broke was the sky roof. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Out of the way of my great driving skills, where my name is Chase McCain. Drug oh, I love you, Chase McCain. <laughs> his, his titles keep getting more aggressive and unhinged oh, each yeah. episode. Someone needs to, like, go through this playthrough when we're done and just, like, assemble a cut hey there, of, every, of all the titles we've given to Chase McCain. One guy now. <laughs> Don't worry, I ain't jealous. Is he around? He, uh, said something about meeting some private buyer guy? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm a little worried. That guy he's meeting, he used to run all the rackets in this city before he got put away. Whoa. Now he's out? I just hope he ain't trying to cut Vinny out of the equation. You want me to make sure Vinny's okay? Vinny would disown me if he knew I'd sent someone to look after him. Right. So he can't... I disown you? All I got was that they were meeting yeah, outside of brothers. Paradise Sand. Uh, and get up somewhere hot, and with a bit yeah. of luck you'll be able to yeah, see Yeah, you're paying attention to Thanks, Mo. Just, oh, story. I, I, do. I missed two episodes. Here when you broke him out. I'm remembering from when I was a child. I remember that very greatly. Crazy. That was when I was in my Bible phase. Also, my bro I wasn't there when my brother beat that, and I was always playing the game in chunks when he wasn't playing. So yeah, this is why I picked up from not having me having a chance to play that part twice. Wait a minute. I see, see. wait a minute. I need to unlock a train station. I mean, do you have to? Oh yes, no, do. this thing. God damn it. 
Really my favorite sound in the world? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got we got half of them to go. Oh lord. And way more than half of everything else to go. Yeah. I miss my trash can now. I don't miss it, I mean, I don't miss it. The possum awesome. evicted you. <laughs> the possum that awesome. lives with me? No, I didn't think he had the right to do that, but, uh, like, he came back with a lawyer and, a no and an official notarized letter of admission. Like, that helps him do the legal system. Huh. <laughs> well, Essentially, just like well. a possum with just human intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not anthropomorphized at all. He just like is a woman, he just like the nerds he can uh, He can't even talk, he just can write. Right. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a lot of gold tricks today. Yes. Also, are we almost at the end of the story for this game? Uh, we're, we have five chapters left. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, we've got it. Like, we're, I'd say we're two thirds, maybe. Ah, alright, cool. Thank God, I, I thought we were almost nearing the end point. <laughs> we got Rex it's a delightful game. With. Yeah. That is true. How do you... I think it's three jumps. I've been wrong before. Okay. Very nice. Oh man, I'm so great at platforming games, aren't I? Yes! Wait a minute, my favorite vehicle! Sorry, police business! Oh! Why did the limousines handle the best? It's... it's weird. Because it rich people can afford better cars, I guess. That's fair. Fucking rich people. Not you, not you, Basement Tim, you're great. Yeah. Thanks, we, uh, we thanks love Maddie. Basement. I really appreciate you. Uh, here's a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> So generous, so frugal. <laughs> Numbers. <laughs> wow. So this is Frank's parents' hotel. They must be low. Uh. Right. I need to get onto the rooftop. All right. I forgot Frank's parents were rich. Why is Frank in a speedo and also in a pool with a horse on a floaty? This is it's his pet horse. Yeah. It's a sidekick. What's its name? Remember when he tried to give a suppository in the? I guess I'll have to get the hard way. I do actually remember that. I wish I could forget that. <laughs> yeah, he made you watch. Yeah, it was it was barbaric, horrifying even. And like when you asked if you could look away, he said with the deadest, most evil, menacing tone you'd ever heard from someone, to if they don't you dare, and then like went back to being normal Frank. I mean, it was weird. I, 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 he might have BPD. I'm. I still think we should get him checked out for that, but also I don't want to- I don't think he has BPD, I think he's just possessed by a demon. Okay, you know what, that makes sense. Borderline personality demon, then? Yeah! Alright, that makes sense, then. How do, you, how do I get that out of a pool table? <laughs> that made no sense! Because you're a master builder! Yes. What? Here's, here's my question, why wasn't Chase McCain invited to the Lego movie? Because he would have oh. solved the conflict in like five seconds, they wouldn't have needed Emmett. Yeah, that's true. I shot. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> uh, uppies. Maybe you have to paint it while it's going up the blue, no, so you can actually find no, it. I think it's just like on a cycle now. Oh, nice. Man, you guys are smart. Yeah, we yeah. have the great, we have the great intelligence of having played this game before. Yeah, that, uh, shit. It's still smarter than me in this case since I've never played it. Hang on. Treadmill. Oh. Imagine like someone's breaking into your hotel and he just stops to do this. <laughs> Dressed That's like a robber too. <laughs> Worse yet, imagine you see someone breaking in dressed like a cartoon robber doing that, and then it turns out they're just like a cop to visit your son. <laughs> He's upstairs. <laughs> oh. 
Now, viewers at home, don't close your eyes, no matter how suspicious this sounds. He is actually working out. Of course, if you only have the audio, because then you won't have the context. Oh, yeah, that's true. Only Jesus. five seconds this time. A new record. <laughs> Great. Good job. Yeah, that's support. like the Frenzy video. That's like, I'm coming. I'm coming. Right. I'm coming. I, uh, oh, I, I just played five Archibald the Frex card. Even That's though I don't recognize line. you and you have <laughs> any ID. <laughs> now you say something? He just let you walk in. Yeah. He just let you walk in after pointing out that you didn't have any ID. Man, I, went, I wish security worked like that in the real world. Robbing things would be, robbing people would be way easier. Only in like very rich mansions and stuff like that. If it's like regular people's houses, they deserve privacy. Yeah, but like regular, as far as I can tell, regular people's houses are way harder to get into in this game. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's almost like they didn't design the interior or any interior most of the time. Rich people easy to rob, poor people impossible to rob. Sounds like a great sounds like a great way for the world to work. Except, uh, except you, hey basement Jim. Are you, you can be all, you can be a very comrade, no, even though you're I'm rich, because we don't understand and exploit theory. anyone. Well, of course, of I can check the guest book. Th that isn't. Huh? Never mind. Have you seen anything suspicious happening from up here? No. Apart from the sinister-looking helicopter that flew overhead a few minutes ago and then landed on the building opposite the Herbert Hotel. The Herbert Hotel. Then that's where I'm going. Hey. What's wrong with my parents' hotel? Is this about that guest who ate the chocolate on his pillow and it turned out it was a cockroach? Oh. It is now! <laughs> that is a lawsuit and we'll be having a discussion about that later. Okay, need to be very careful. Okay. See you, Jace! I believe in you. Just don't mess up. See, that's, that's a little harder than we think it might be. Right. What? No, it's plenty easy. Just don't mess up or everyone will laugh at you. Well, it's my job to make people, people laugh. Right, but, like, not in a good way. Like, in a way that takes money from you instead of giving it, <laughs> and you'll have negative a million views on YouTube, but everyone will know what YouTube's happened. YouTube's new feature, negative views. <laughs> yeah, they, they got rid of dislikes, but they brought in negative views. <laughs> yeah. They always bring in negative views of all the changes they're making. Am I right or am I right? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I'm a farmer. Plug. <laughs> 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 Time to plug in a mountain. Wait, are you, is that actually what you're supposed to be doing? You got this fountain's yeah. Patreon! <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's in the glove box. Oh. Wow. Wow. Paradise. Nothing suspicious here, folks. Just an undercover cop. Wait, uh, I mean... <laughs> uh, uh, Just a oh, criminal, no. not who is robbing you. <laughs> Except not in a bad way, in a way that's okay. Name's John Robert. Name's John Crime, inventor of the mattress. John Crime. <laughs> I think that was his actual name. What was his buddy. actual name? John Hancock. Uh, the inventor of the mattress. Uh... It wasn't John Crime! Let me look up. Who invented the mat? I- I'm guessing it is a caveman, because mat- people have been sleeping on, like, just things for a while. <laughs> oh, thank god. Who invented Please tell me it was John Crime, actually. I- Hmm. Well... It was invented about 77,000 years ago, so I think we're gonna... 
Not specifically <laughs> get a name. <laughs> Named John Crime. Yeah, that's fair. Not only has the name John existed for that long, but also Crime. I'll believe it. Uh, I mean, we could have just forgotten that it used to be a name back when we started using it to mean, like, oh, illegal activity. Yeah, that's fair. Well, the dude's name starts with a J, apparently. Uh, James Elwell. The man behind the mattress. This could also be Fubar, but I don't really know how much I'm willing to look into research about mattresses today. I'm just gonna assume that it's incorrect so I can go on thinking that the inventor of the mattress was named John Crime. That's perfectly valid. Just know I haven't got the job. Neither did I. Him. What job did you want? Person who has person who doesn't have depression. I was supposed to be a test for laughing gas. It didn't work, no matter how much <laughs> they used to develop. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, you know, some guy, uh, some guy named uh, Jack. Jack Carr. Jackson Me Hoffman. No, I'm trying to. Th what was the name of the? Oh. What was his, like, alias in the, in, in the, for, in the Tim Burton Batman? Uh, uh, I don't know. It was Jackson. I never watched that one. You never watched the Tim Burton version? No. Why I not? didn't either. I, actually, I think I did. I just don't I, remember I this. I had a chance to. It wasn't... I never had a chance to for a while, and then eventually when I, like, had the internet and piracy, I just, like, had other priorities. But Batman... I love I'm not a big fan of Tim Burton! Or Batman! Like, I like Batman in concept, it's just like, I find that treating him like a power fantasy, which a lot of writers kind of do because he's a power fantasy, takes away from what I find interesting, most interesting and compelling about the character. I get that. I think Batman's cool, though. Yeah. If he's done right, like, I think he's interesting as like a human person with human limitations, who is constantly struggling against those limitations, and that doesn't make for a great power fantasy, because like the point is that you feel powerful, and also he's in like a a, a universe that's been power crushed to hell, so what it's kind of hard to be. About? <laughs> They, they have a person called Apocalypse. Zach. No, <laughs> I think. no, the planet's name is Apocalypse. Dark side, uh, Dark side is the um, guy who Yeah, that's definitely of course. Of course. <laughs> With the homing tackleizers that kill you if they touch you. Yes. But to be fair, homing missiles are also essentially just death things that kill you when they touch you because, you know, missiles. Yeah, but he doesn't have like he doesn't have like a prolonged launching process or or like a low amount of uh, or or like limited amount of missiles. He just has laser eyes, but they tr but they're homing and they kill you if they touch you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, dark. Uh, once yeah. I you know enough if you know enough about dark side, you realize how futile it is to even like fight him. Or it would be if it didn't exist in a superhero universe where they kind of had to fight him and also Batman once did once almost killed him because he shot him with a magic bullet a thing that goes so deeply against Batman that it's very that it's just like okay why did anyone thing. read Final Crisis? You might want to bend your code if it like involves the death of everyone you know and love <laughs> like he didn't That's even ki uh, remember it's remember his code isn't his code is just to like prevent uh, is to, like, to, to not kill people. Okay, come on, what the yeah, hell do I do? I mean, I know that theoretically, but, like, it's not, like, a natural world where these things come into contact. Like, you don't have to do the things that don't make it for the most compelling stories. And Batman doesn't, like, from what I know, grapple with, oh my god, I used a gun to try and kill someone, because, like, he dies immediately afterwards. And then a few years later, real life people are like, oh, he's not dead. He's just back in time. 
and then that all happened, and there just wasn't time to like react to that offbeat. I think in some storylines that probably something like that probably happens, but I haven't read enough ba of Batman and like any of the runs that he has. Like uh, talking about Batman, like that. I, mean, that I do think is good in Batman Beyond. He like in like episode one, like used as the reason Batman quit being Batman. He pulls a gun on a criminal because he just can't like physically keep up with him. And like that's that's good drama. I like that. What are we Because like, Batman and Bruce has time to react to oh. it. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm just not. Like I like Batman when he's when he's done in like a really good way that like taps into the things I find interesting about the characters, like the Robert uh, Pattinson version. How I just like yeah. figure that out. I, don't know. I just don't I, like I, him I as a role. Text. I get that. I get that. How far do you have to fill it up? Yeah, did it like give any indication that's what you're supposed to do? Because I thought that was just fire extinguisher fluid or something. Yeah. Uh... I think it's kind of working on the kid logic of kids don't realize that fire extinguishers are toes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But I will also say, when I was a kid, I I'm really good at using a shit ton of time because I couldn't figure it out. Kids are stupid. They're stupid. I know. Yeah, but like, if your puzzle is operating <laughs> on kid logic, it should probably be something a kid can figure out pretty easily. Yeah, are you true. saying that I'm dumber than a child? No, I'm saying you're smarter than a child and this made for that, that puzzle was made for dumb kids. You were stuck on that puzzle for only 20 minutes. <laughs> Little Timmy over there has been stuck on it for three days. I got 18 more flowers to water all over Lego City. <laughs> you cut out so bad. You, you cut out a lot. <laughs> That's because I was shouting. I said, and he doesn't get to eat until he finishes it. <laughs> it's what he deserves. I'll wager the boy. Um. Um. Oh. <laughs> Take a box, then you drive the dynamite car. A dynamite car? Yeah, it's a dynamite car. It's a car that, that has just... dynamite in it. But why is that there? So, you, so it can blow up. Okay. What, what is my purpose? You blow Whoa. up. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> hey, at least now you don't have to live without a purpose. You fulfilled it. You're, you're dead. Remember, Robot, there are 72 versions waiting for you on the other side. What? It'll be fine. They get over it, they always do. <laughs> They don't have time to get over it. <laughs> they, don't, uh, they don't need to get over it. They die. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Time to obliterate my molecules and then reassemble them in another location. Time Yay! to kill myself and then have a clone go take on my task of, of supplanting Grex Fury as the greatest criminal in LEGO City. Another catapult. Awesome. Will anybody remember that I'm gone? Let's what find out. A pet? No, because the clone doesn't realize he's not the original. It's a the most dastardly oh, thing. Yeah. Oh yeah! Holy oh, shit! It's like that one movie where Wolverine fights Batman. Okay, that would be awesome. awesome. I need to get to the Wait, I'm pretty sure you know what movie I'm referencing. I've brought it up to you. Or you brought it up to me, I don't remember. I don't want to say it because, like... You mean, you mean Shredder? You mean Shredder no. Batman? 
I do not. I, I don't want to explain what movie it is. Spoil the, all the twists in like a thriller. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Shit, I wish I understood. Yeah, me too. I thought you did. You mentioned it. It's a Christopher movie. Oh! Oh, the Prestige. Okay. I was trying not to mention it because I'd sm because no because the thing I had said had spo spoiled the movie would spoil the whole twist. But yeah, Prestige is a movie where people get cloned and die. Oh, that's the twist. Okay. Damn. I mean, uh, that's the name. That's okay. doesn't the name kind of. I don't know. I gotta watch well, the movie. Well, it's a it's a movie about magicians trying to fight each other. Yeah. Oh. And the magicians are played by Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. Yes, yes, yes. Bruce will look at yes. Hang on, wait a minute. I see them over there. Hanging. Take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Coward. My gun's jammed. Do it. No. That's Rex. Vinny is working for him. <gasps> I'll never get over there. What are they saying? This is the first time we've seen Rex in person in a while. Yeah, he's not around very much. Yeah. Because you know how cool Chase McCain is that he'd never, he'd never lose. It is. Another job! We had a deal! I got <laughs> you to get you all them vehicles. I got you that oh. T-Rex. I got you the Bell Pepper Emerald. And that boat! Do you know how much trouble I had someone else go through for that? <laughs> well, I've still got more stuff on my shopping list, Vinny. And you are gonna get it for me. I ain't even been paid for the other stuff yet! I have overheads, you know, and them paintings you gave me ain't any good. What do you mean? They're Picassos! Really? They look more like faces. Ah, just get the stuff, Vinny, or I'll have to <laughs> replace you. Damn, this guy sucks. Rex Fury makes my blood boil! We do all the jobs, we take all the risks, but he treats us like monkeys and gives us... Uh... Peanuts? Chase? What did you hear? Nothing. Except you mentioned Rex Fury. Yeah, what does it matter? Yeah, that's the private buyer I've been working for. And he's just pushed me too far. Nobody gets away with treating the papalados like this. We're gonna do a job just for us. What you got in mind? The biggest cheese in Lego City. The Von Stuffenberg Cheddar Truckle? Not that kind of cheese. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> property magnet, fridge magnet, and king of this city. Forrest Blackwell? I'll tell Mo to take the fire boat and meet you. Get moving. Okay, Vinny. I can't blow my cover yet. Not until I've arrested yeah. Max. You must just see uh, oh, my legs. My leg. My leg. Man, thank God I don't have any real legs. <laughs> I'm secretly Robocop, you see. Oh. Robotic Chase McCain. But like without all, but like without all of the satire about how the police are bad. He's a pretty okay cop. Sometimes. I've I never seen Robocop. You've never seen Robocop. No. You make me sick. Down here. Shove it in my hat. No. Oh, yeah, I got more of these. 
60. Oh. Let's see here. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> it's the only way. Why is it so loud? I know I should be stealing cheese, but... Delicious cheese. Random acts of vandals. Such a good cop. <laughs> Only the best. That's what makes me different than the rest. I'm willing to deal with no one else's. <laughs> that time. Uh, Meaning that I care more about destroying property than people's lives and livelihoods. I don't even know who you are anymore. I'm Chase. This is an emergency. I am an em I am an emergency. Oh, emergency. A walking emergency. Hurricane, snowstorm, volcanic eruption, all of them. Even ep even plague. <laughs> Wait a minute. Plague. I gotta build Ow. something. Oh. Oh my god. I only got four of those left. Oh lord, holy shit. Monkeys? Monkey! The monkey chain! Sorry, the monkey know. fizz! The monkey! Monkey. Monkey. Money monkey. Monkey money. Monkey monkey. I always love those things, those ramps that'll just flick you to random places. It's so silly. Also, I do find it, I, like, unironically, I do find it very funny that the Lego company was like, Hey, let's make a uh, game aim in with that. Oh. The game crashed? Oh, no. What is this, Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> okay, um, I guess we're gonna end the episode here while I figure out what the heck happened. Uh, thank you all for watching. <laughs> let's see let's close happens. it and reopen it. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, shit.